Hey YouTube, welcome back to my channel. If it's your first time visiting my channel, welcome to my channel. My name is Toyo, and I'm here to do a reading for you guys. So hit that like and subscribe button, and let's get into this video. Now, this is actually a channel message. I channeled this about an hour ago, okay? So what I picked up on when I was channeling is that somebody is accusing you of doing some shit that you have never done in your life here, okay? For some of you guys, somebody accusing you of doing, like, a certain type of drug. Some of y'all, somebody's accusing you of being, like, an alcoholic. It doesn't have to be that scenario, um directly but it's like somebody's accusing you of some shit you ain't never done in your life here okay i also feel like you humbled this person real quick because whatever they said that you do or whatever they said that you're into you're literally not into this here okay so if they said that you are a crackhead or you're on drugs I'm not sure why this person said this shit about you here because you ain't never did that shit in your life. If this person tried to say you're an alcoholic or a drunk, like I said, maybe you did some casual drinking. Maybe you did some casual smoking, but it ain't nothing compared to what this person tried to make you look like. They tried to make you look like you sitting around sniffing cocaine. You're sitting around doing drugs here. You're sitting around drunk every single day, sloppy drunk, can't think. So they're trying to make you look a certain type of way, but I do feel like you actually humbled this person real quick because for some of y'all, like I said, they're saying this shit to other people and maybe they tried to ask you about this or other people asked you about this or maybe you heard what was going on and you humbled them real quick. Like, I would never do that fuck shit. I would never do drugs. I would never do that. I'm, I'm not like that, okay? But yeah, this person got humbled real quick. I also feel like this person was trying to compare you to somebody you're nothing like, okay? Um, this is why this person thinks that they can just come at you whichever way that they want here, okay? Some of you guys, you actually have boundaries set up with this person. Person, okay this is somebody you don't fuck with anyway and like i said this person is comparing you to somebody that you're nothing like oh yeah she reminds me of this person so i think she is on meth because this person is on meth okay she reminds me of this person i seen her hanging out with this person this person is always drunk so i think she's always drunk it's like that they're trying to compare you to a motherfucker you're nothing like here okay um like I said, I also feel like they're doing this because you actually do have boundaries set up with this person here. This person has been throwing a lot of shots at you. Like I said, but there's the shots that they're throwing at you is wrong. Like I said, I just keep getting visions of somebody saying, I think he's on drugs. I think she's on drugs. Whole time, you chilling. You might smoke weed. You might drink a little wine here. You might chill and drink with your friends every now and then but nothing like what they're trying to make you look like like they're trying to make you look like the next generation of a crackhead that, that type of energy here like you're never gonna snap out of that energy okay but like i said you ended up humbling this person real real quick um even though this person was throwing shots at you here um now i think this is somebody you're sick of like you don't like this person this is why boundaries are set up or something about this person's energy makes you sick or like i said you don't want to entertain this person okay but i do feel like you're sick of this person or this, you don't like this person's energy okay you don't really connect with this person um for some of y'all y'all don't even really know this motherfucker they just comparing they're just looking at you and trying to compare you to i guess a motherfucker they seen down the street that they didn't like here, okay? Somebody else. Um, maybe you remind them of somebody, but at the end of the day, whoever they're trying to compare you to, you ain't shit like them. That ain't you, okay? Um, now, some of y'all, this person might want to come towards you, and they might want to address you about something. Like I said, there's some type of drama that this person is trying to put you in or there's some type of drama that this person is tr in or something. So this person might want to come towards you to address some type of drama here. And I feel like when this person comes towards you, this person thinks that you're going to be shaky and scared. Like, oh my God, I'm scared. But no, this person got you all wrong. This person doesn't know that you could split in two. Okay. So for a lot of you guys, this person is actually coming at you in a malicious type of way and they expect you to be scared or shaky, but they don't expect you you to be like go from sweet to like okay bitch you gonna have to get the fuck out my energy you want to get the fuck away from me they don't expect you to snap into that energy they only expect you to be the sweet energy that they see you as like i said they don't expect you to snap so this is why they want to try to come address some type of drama with you or put you in some type of drama but i feel like y'all are not going for that shit this is why you're going from oh hey to now wait a minute bitch you 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 doing too much okay it's kind of giving me they're doing too much here <clears throat> I also put, like I said, this person thinks that you're going to be shaky whenever they say whatever they say or address whatever they address, but I genuinely don't think they realize that you're going to snap or you're going to be in an energy like, bitch, what are you talking about? 
Who the fuck are you accusing of that? Who did that shit? You probably do that shit. Like, it's like they don't expect you to defend yourself because whatever they think they know about you, it's like not true. So, like I said, this is why this person's gonna get humbled real quick because they think you're a punk, pussy, or a sweetheart, but then you're like, bitch, who are you talking to? <laughs> okay? So, yeah, you're gonna catch this per person off guard, or like I said, you're gonna humble them real fucking quick, or you did humble them real quick. Uh, some of y'all just have something to do, like, they think you're a, a hoe. Like, they, this ain't nothing, they, they don't think that you're on drugs or an alcoholic. Some of y'all, they think you're a hoe, and they're like, a, like, the, the way that they're o overstepping your boundaries is because they think that you're a hoe. They're overstepping your boundaries that you put up because they think you're a crackhead I, or, or on some type of drug when you're not. They're trying to overstep the boundaries you put up because, oh, that's just an alcoholic. When you ain't none of that. Like I said, they got you all wrong comparing you to somebody that you are not. <laughs> Oh, well, and this is why they get humbled real quick. Like, what? You, you thought you could just walk into my house? Nigga, I'm not no fucking crackhead. You can't just walk in my house. What are you doing? It's like that type of energy here, okay? This person, I also feel like what's really wrong with this person is this person is really upset because they can't do what you do. So they walk around talking about you. They can't get in your energy. So they walk around talking about you. This is why they're spreading rumors that you're on drugs or that you are an alcoholic or that you are a prostitute or something they're walking around saying this shit all because they can't get in your energy easily okay but like i said whatever they said about you you're gonna split on them real quick <laughs> not spit you're gonna split on them like i said you're gonna go from and then when you hear the rumor or whatever the fuck they said about you it's like what okay you got to get these hands bruh you're gonna put them in their place whichever way you know how okay um i also put um like I said, this person, they're talking about you and your partner if you're in a relationship in a negative way. But some of y'all, this person is trying to talk about you in a negative way directly in your face. Or they're trying to talk about your partner in a negative way directly in your face. But it's almost like covert. So let's say like, like I said, let's say you, I don't know. Let's say you like to make banana puddings, right? And they want to talk shit about that shit. So they come over and they're like, Man, I be I hate when bitches make banana puddings like this. But you do that shit or your partner does that shit and you're just like, anyway. So like I said, this person is like trying to talk about you or your partner directly in your face or your partner's face to try to like trigger you. Like they're very strategic. They know what the fuck they're doing. So like I said, it says this person really wants to feel above you. So like I said, they're trying to talk about a situation that you're in to try to trigger you or to try to make them feel like they're above you in some sort of way. Like I said, let's say they came to your house and you had, I don't know, just a couch. You only have one couch. And they're like, man, I'm so fucking glad that I got all the fucking furniture that I need. Like, I'm glad I don't have just a fucking couch. And you sitting there like, bitch, are you trying to, you throwing shots? Is you trying to throw shots? Um, but yeah, it's like they're trying to talk about you right in your face. Um, but in a covert way. But the reason that this person is doing this, like I said, is because they want to feel above you. Um, so they tried to talk about your situation here. Some of you guys, um, they were talk targeting your lover. Some of y'all, they were trying to only target your lover, not talk about them. But let's say they were trying to beat up in your face all while trying to seduce your lover over here. It's almost like that. So some of y'all, this motherfucker is a whore. They're the whore. They're the hoe. Did they're trying to accuse you of being... Um, and they like, like to come around people and their partners and then try to pretend like they're this, the person's friend all while they're trying to seduce this person's man or woman. Okay. So some of y'all, this person is the whore and they trying to talk about you in front of your partner or something. Or like I said, they're trying to target your partner in front of you. Okay. Now, some of you guys, whatever this person got going on in their brain, in their mind, whatever tactics they're, they're, they use, other people would typically be scared, okay? Whatever this is, other people would typically be scared. People would typically be, typically be nervous, like, 
why are you doing this to me? What are you doing? Yeah, other people will be in that energy here, but not you, okay? Some of you guys, this has something to do with like a haunting. This person is haunted. Some of you guys, this person has really bad mental health. Like this person is very bipolar or schizophrenic, but they're on, they're, like they're going through psychosis at that moment. And like they want to come and try to trigger you or scare you, but you're not afraid of that shit. Some of y'all, y'all might have them same mental health issues and it's like, Bitch, you trying to trigger me, bitch. You you do not trigger me. Others of you guys, like I said, they're doing all of this. Some of y'all, this person tried to do spell work. You're not afraid of that shit. Some of you guys, this person is narcissistic as fuck. But whatever the fuck this person got going on with themselves, typically everybody else will be scared or nervous or feeling some type of way or why are you doing this to me? But you, you can see right through this motherfucker and you're like, hmm. And all you got to say is, well, don't hurt yourself. Okay, don't hurt yourself doing all that spell work. Because, bitch, if you're doing spell work on me, it's going to backfire. Don't hurt yourself while you in that, that stage of mental health. I know you're going through psychosis right now. And you trying to tr uh, trigger me or target me. But make sure you don't hurt yourself. It's like you know exactly what you're trying to do. But it's like you're more so like, mm, you ain't going to hurt me. But just make sure you don't hurt yourself. It's like that. Like, worry about yourself because you ain't hurt me. Okay, I could tell you're going through something. But you ain't hurting me. Okay? I'm also getting, yeah, you don't, like, this person does not scare you. Some of y'all, they try to do something, like I said, they thought that you were going to be shaky or nervous or scared, or they thought they were going to pop up on you, and you're just like, hmm, cool, that's what's up. Anyway, and they're like, what? I'm over here trying to trigger you, bitch. I'm over here talking about you right in your face. Yeah, I hate black bitches. I hate bitches this far. I hate people with crooked teeth. I hate people with gaps. I hate when people... Don't do this. It's like they're really trying to target you or your partner. And you're like, yeah. Anyway, worry about yourself. <laughs> okay. And then I really feel like that bothers this person here. Okay. I also put scared of what though. Like I put you don't scare me though. Scared of what though. I feel like you're vibing too high to be scared of what this person got going on. I feel like you're vibing so fucking high that whatever this person is trying to do to you is almost laughable. It's almost funny. Like you trying to trigger me and you look dumb bitch. Like you trying to trigger me and I know exactly what you're doing. Like a lot of y'all y'all know exactly what this person is doing here. Okay. So scared of what when God got your back here. Okay. I also put like, some of y'all, this person wants to call, text, email, or pop up on you because of something they saw you post. So a lot of you guys, this person saw you post something. They saw you post a status. They saw you post something like a new content here. Some of you guys, this person saw you post a photo um, or they saw you post something here, okay? And this person, the reason why they're so fucking triggered and the reason why they still want to be in your energy even though you want nothing to do with them. It's like they keep trying to force themselves in your fucking energy. The reason why they want to come towards you is because they saw something that you, that you posted, right? Um, and they think that, you know, their involvement in gang stalking you, hating on you or some type of crime. So some of y'all, the only reason why this person is coming through and they think you're going to be shaky and this and that, and they think that they're going to accuse you of shit you ain't do. The reason they're doing all this anyway is because you said something, you posted something, you shared something, you created some content. And whatever you posted, said, or shared exposed them. And it made them nervous. Like, wait, does she know that I'm her gang stalker? Does she know that I've been sitting here talking about her? She know that I'm the one that started all this? Does she know that I'm the one that called the police? Does she know that I'm the one that started that rumor that she's on drugs, that he's on drugs? Does she know that I'm the one that started that rumor that they um, are a whore? Does, does she know? Because of something that you posted. So some of y'all, like I said, does she know that I'm gang stalking her? Does she know that it's me? So like I said, it's like they want to pop up on you. Because they're not sure if you know their involvement in whatever this is. Some of y'all, y'all said something about a crime that was committed here. And this person was involved in that crime. Some of you guys, this person was involved in a crime against you spiritually. Okay, but this person was involved in some type of crime. And they think that you know that they were involved in this. So this is why they're like low-key panicky and this is why they low-key want to come towards you, okay? Also, this is why they've been hating on you. This person is guilty, but now that they feel guilty because of what it, all that they did to you, they did a spell on you and you wasn't scared, that shit backfired, now they feel guilty. Like I said, they was talking shit about you, you... Uh, you put them in their place. You humbled them real quick. Now they feel like, wait, do she know it's me? Does Some of y'all, you do know it's them, okay? 
But at the end of the day, this person feels guilty. And this is why they want to come towards you, write you, or hit you up. So that they can tell you all that they've been through. But basically, to try to balance karma out. I know I said that you was a crackhead. And I know that wasn't true. But, um, hey, did you know that, like, my husband is on drugs? Did you know that? It's like they want to try to balance it out because all that shit they said about you just off of being jealous because you don't fuck with them. They know that they're in the wrong, okay? So like I said, they feel kind of exposed. They want they want to know if you know that it was them that was gang stalking you, that it was them that committed this crime, that it was them that put this spell on you, that it was them that started this rumor about you. They really want to know. So like I said, it's like they're trying to talk to you to balance shit out. To sh to, they want to share their struggles with you. Oh my fucking God. So I had bed bugs and then this because of all the shit they said about you. A lot of you guys, whenever this person is going to say whatever they said to you, it's like they're rambling. So y'all, like I said, if somebody comes towards you and they start oversharing and they start rambling and shit about random shit, it's because they really feel guilty because of all the rumors that they started about you. This rumor that they started about you. That's not true. All because you don't fuck with them here. So some of y'all, y'all going to be in an energy like, what are you talking about? Or why are you telling me this? Or why do you, like, why would I care about this? It's because they're rambling because they are nervous that you know that they're your gang stalker. Or that they're the one that caused all of this, sh this shit. That they're the one that called the police on you here, Okay. Some of y'all, I put, they're literally going to call, text you, or pop up on you, okay? This person is going to try to ask you to chill with them or to hang out with them. Like I said, it's like they're nervous and rambling, but now suddenly, wait, hey, um, so I think we should hang out. Do you want to come, you want to hang out this weekend? Do you want to drink with me this weekend? It's like suddenly they want to hang and chill with you here, Okay? Some of you guys, this is somebody you don't even really know like that. This is somebody that's seen you online, but they still start rumors about you here because they're basing you off of somebody else here, okay? But I'm getting, do not let this motherfucker around you. If you already let this motherfucker around you and they try to make plans with you, cancel them down plans, okay? But do not let this motherfucker around you because like I said, this person is a gang stalker. This person is an energy stealer. They like to harvest people's energy. A lot of you guys, this person was involved in some type of criminal activity here. And like I said, the only reason they want to come around you is because they think that you know whatever this is. They think that you know that they're the gang stalker. They think that you know that they are the ones that have been stealing your energy. They think that you know that they were involved in this criminal activity. They think that you know that they are armed or a knife. Some of y'all, they're going to pop up on you armed or with a knife here or with some type of weapon. So like I said, some of y'all, you already cut them off. Do not let them try to bar, like try to basically break down your walls here. Try to overstep your boundaries all because they feel guilty. Okay, some of y'all, like I said, it's like, like, they're going to try to call you. You already don't fuck with them. They're going to try to call you and be like, oh my God, like, please come hang out with me. Let's chill. Some of y'all, it ain't even a sob energy. It's more like, hey girl, what you doing? Yeah, we should totally chill. We should go hang out tonight. What's up? We should make a song together. What's good? We should hang out. You should come to my crib. It's like that type of energy. It's not really like, oh my God, not that energy. It's more so they're trying to like, let's hang out. Let's do this. And you're like, why would I do that with you? You already don't fuck with this person here, okay? A lot of you guys, you might have a very high self-esteem and you're in the energy of feeling real good and feeling yourself, okay? Some of you guys, you're cute in real life. This is somebody that uh, you have on social media. Maybe this person saw you in real life and realized like, they're actually pretty as fuck in real life. He's handsome as fuck in real life. This person is really attractive in real life, okay? So some of you guys, they're trying to compare you to themselves, okay? I also feel like people are now playing your music if you make music. People are buying your services here. People are giving you love on your photos because you're pretty. People are now giving you credit on your art. People are just giving you credit in general here. This is another reason why this person wants to come around you. Some of y'all, they want to come around you so they can steal your energy because how dare you now be getting this credit here? And how dare you be in a high self-esteem here? But like I said, um, they're going to try to play it off as like, cousin... Let's drink this weekend. Friend, let's be friends. Let's let's turn up. What do you like to do? It's like, no, bro. Okay, the only reason they're doing this is because now you're getting your credit for all the things that you have done here. And you're vibing high and you're happy. And like I said, whatever the fuck they tried to do, this rumor they started or they whatever they did, 
Um, sometimes spell work are, is rumors, like gossip is rumors. So whatever this spell work or these rumors that they tried to start on you, it didn't work and you're still in a star energy here. Somebody, this person, they said that they were going to change. Some of y'all, they said that they were going to basically step into your energy. Nothing happened. They're still in the same old energy. They're still karmic as fuck. They're still toxic as hell here, okay? This person would love to be in your position. This is why they want to suddenly call you and come around you. They're not completely sure if you know that they're the game stalker or that they're the hater or that they're the one that started the rumor, but they want to they, they, they wanna give it a chance anyway here, okay? So this is why they want to try to become your friend before you really, really, really uh, take off, before people really, really, really give you your credit here, okay? So they can say that they started from the bottom uh, with you here. But yeah, um, this person would love to be in a position that you are in. You are a star in this person's eyes or you are the star of this person's life. Like this person watches you before they watch them. Okay. They feel like you are shining. They feel like you have healed a lot. They feel like you're doing really, really good. So like I said, you are actually a star in this person's eyes and this is why they want to come around you. This is why they've been talking shit about you for real. So I guess this person, like I said, they said that they want to change. This person's intentions were to, to change in change into you or change into an energy that is like you here okay uh single white female <laughs> that type of energy here okay um some of you guys they tried to rock your hair same lashes this everything that you got your whole aesthetic here okay but this person, like I said, I put somebody is trying to become the new you. This person is going to try to become the new you. This person is trying to become the new you. Um, but this person doesn't know what they're doing. Some of y'all, this person might end up going to jail. Some of y'all, this person's career is over. Okay? Some of y'all, whatever they're doing to look like you, it looks a mess. Like if they try to steal your aesthetic... It don't look right. It don't look good on them. If they try to steal your style of music, it don't sound right. It don't look good here. Uh, whatever you do for your career, they try to step into that energy. They're just not good at it. They just need to focus on their life purpose. But like I said, this person, I don't know about this person. I also feel like whatever the situation is, when they call you up or they pop up on you, this whole situation is making you remember why you moved away in the first place. Some of y'all, y'all left your hometown because of people like this. This is why you moved in the first place. Some of you guys, you left a neighborhood. Okay, this is why you moved in the first place. Some of you guys, you stopped fucking with this person. This is why you stopped fucking with them in the first, first place. But whatever this situation is, it's going to remind you. Of why you stop doing whatever this is or stop fucking with this person or you moved in the first place here. Okay? This person, they tried to shame you for something that you do, but then try to turn around and do exactly what you do. These people, this group of people, people from your hometown, whoever, they tried to shame you for doing what you do. But now that you are getting credit, they want to try to turn around and do the same shit that they tried to shame you for. Okay? That's why these people are nervous and trying to, like hit you up and email you or text you or hang out with you because they are gang stalkers and they know that they are and they know that they wrong. Okay. But now they want to be you. That's what's crazy. I also put these people, they always started random beef with you because you don't really resonate with them or connect with them on a soul level. So if you don't resonate with or connect with somebody on a soul level, you don't fuck with them. Why are you going to be in somebody's face when y'all don't connect on a soul level? And that's why they're mad. This is what you guys have to understand. You can see clearly, this is not a soulmate to me. We shouldn't really be connected. You're not mean to them. You're not a bitch to them. But you know not to connect with them. Okay? But they're mad at that shit. And they really hate that shit. Okay? They hate the fact that you don't see them as on the same level as you. Even if it's not that. Like I said, this is all energetically. You know who, who you are meant to connect with energetically here, okay? You know who you vibe with on a soul level. And you don't vibe with this person or these people on a soul level. And like I said, they hate that shit. That's why they started spreading rumors. That's why they started talking shit. And that's why they want to be, they really want to be your friend. That's really all I can say. But you don't connect with them on a soul level. You can't force a friendship. If you force it, you will be the one that's being fake, Okay? Um, but yeah, they hate that shit. Now I did pick up on a few locations. I picked up on uh, Atlanta, West Palm Beach, Florida, anywhere in Florida. We got uh, Rayleigh, North Carolina, but anywhere in North Carolina. Uh, we got Columbia. We got Alabama, Kentucky, Pennsylvania, 
um, San Diego, and Mexico. And I did pick up on a few names. We got Lamaya, Sean, Jackson, Robbins, Natalie, uh, Mikey, Harry, Carter, Marsha, or Marshy, uh, Jalea, Spencer, Kimberly, Kayla, Samira, Kyle, Harper, Lola, Dylan, Patterson, Rania, or Renee, um, Gary, Taylor, Trisha, McClure, Ashley, Trinity, Tiffany, Walker, Jada, Elise, Tatum, Smith, Iverson, McCoy, Camilla, Ariella, or Ariella, or Ariel, uh, Maddie, Riley, Sharita, Dakota, Tana, Khaleesi, or Khaleesia, uh, and Ramsey, all right? They could be your name or their names, okay? Hope it resonates. Love y'all. Thank y'all. Bye! Go and take a little trip, it's such a future with me. Go and take a little dip, go and take a little dive. Get that energy right, we gon' get it together. Cause the car, the cars, the key clarity. The cars, the cars, the key what you need. Subscribe to my channel.